Hello everyone, my name is Yao Bin Shen. Today our talk is revisiting the security of DBHD marks beyond birthday bound in the multi user setting. Uh, this is the joint work with Le Wang, Dao Gu, and Jian Wong. Our talk is divided into four parts. The first one is the background of, about the DBHD marks. The second one is the multi user security results of DBHD marks. The third one is our attack on 2KF9. The final one is the conclusion. MSG authentic code is one of the symmetric key primitive to uh, provide integrity and authenticity of messages. A sender and a receiver will firstly share a secret key and then use this algorithm to authenticate messages. There are many two ways to build the mark. Uh, one is using a block cipher. We a long example including CBC mark or mark light mark. The second second one is using a hash function. We a long example including H mark, M mark, and N mark. Most of these marks flow in the hash LMPI paradigm. That is a message. A message will first made by a universal hash function to produce a fixed length. A uh, string that typically is ambient, and this ambient string will be pro proceed by a uh, fixed length input PRF to produce the the final tag. One drawback of this pro product is that uh, when the the internal output of this hash function collide, then the output tags will also collide. And this collision will usually uh, result in a further attack for this construction. And so, and the complexity to find this collision is the birthday bound. That is two to the power half n, and it's also called the birthday bound security. But the birthday bound security is not always enough in practice. Especially when the mark is in station eight with the lightweight block ciphers such as high present or gift or the legacy block cipher triple death. This block cipher has a short block size that is 64 bits and so the birthday bound security will become that 2 to the 32 which is somewhat small and vulnerable in some application. For example, but Gavin and Lauren has dem have de demonstrated two practical attacks that exploit collision on short block cipher to break the security of TLS and OpenVPN open protocols. So to overcome the birthday bound barrier, a class of masks has been sub uh, successfully uh, proposed, uh, including the SAMI CBC, PMAR Plus, CKF9, and DATMAR Plus. Interestingly, uh, this uh, marks follows a similar structure that is called double block hash than sum. Uh, this structure is abstracted out by data at all in the 2019. Instead of using an embed block hash function, uh, this paradigm, this construction uses a two embed hash function. And and uh, a message will pro will made by this two bit hash function to produce a two bit input to the to the block cipher, and then the two encrypted values will be XOR sum to produce the final attack. So the previous attack on the internal collision uh, requires a bound uh, a complexity that's beyond the best bound. Let's briefly uh, recall the recent result for the list for DBH marks. Uh, data out at all proved that list, this generic framework can achieve the beyond based bound security, that's Q to the power 3 over 2 to the power 2n. And Lauren at all um, proposed the first forgery attack on, on this, on this marks with a complexity 2 to the power 3 and 4. 
So there is a gap between the prob probable bounds and the, the attack complexity. Recently, they can at all uh, close this, this gap and prove a tight discrete bound for this, cla for this class DBH mask. This, that is Q to the power 4 thus over 2 to the power n. At this stage, it seems the story of the DBH mask is reasonably complete. Uh, but, however, the above beyond bank security only consider a single user. That is, they only consider the adversary only, ta only tax a single user. But in practice, the, the adversary can attack multiple users. Adaptive uh, distributing is used resources. This is particularly true for Mark, uh, which is one of the most commonly used uh, cryptography algorithm in practice. Mark uh, is the core er element of the real world security protocols, such as SSL, SH, IPsec, and it has billions of daily active users in major websites. So the question is uh, how the number of users will affect the security of masks? And uh, more concretely, can DBHT masks still achieve beyond based bank security in the multi user setting? If we use in the step of arc generated reduction for marks from a single user security to the multi user security, that is, we simply multiply the single user bound by the number of users. Then the multi user security of DBH mark will become something like uq to the power 3 over 2 to the power 2n or uq power for thus over 2 to the power n. Here u is the number of users, q is the number of queries. Uh, and if the adversary use use one query per user, then the bound will become the q to q to the power 4 over 2 to the 2 n or q to the power 7 thirds over 2 to the power n. Then the q is at most 2 to the power half n or a 2 to the power 3 and 7, which is still kept at the birthday bound or even worse than the birthday bound. So the security loss of this general reduction is, is large. So a direct analysis of the mu security of DBHT marks is much desired. And our contributions are manifold. We first propose a generic security a uh, framework in the multi-user setting for the DBH remarks. There are two pro 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 properties of, of our, this, our framework. The first one is it has a good usability. One only need to prove that hash pass is if some one regular and if some two almost universal. Here if some one regular implies that uh, the hash value collide to a given string is small. The property of the hash value uh, equals to a given string is small. And if the two are most universal, implies that the probability of the two hash value of two different string class is small. The second property is that it can achieve a high security, less being the busted bound. We also show the usability of the framework with the application to key reduce value of DBH marks, including 2K some ECBC, 2K PMA plus and 2K Latma plus and prove this mask can achieve can still achieve the beyond versus bound in the multi-user setting. Uh, there is a remaining one the uh, DBH demand is called the 2K F9. But for this one we cannot prove its security. Instead we find a critical flaw in it. Uh, this discussion is proved by data at all in the uh, FC, FSC 2019 that can achieve the beyond best bank security. But unfortunately, we find that one query is enough to forge a attack. And we also show a burst attack on several variants of 2KF9. Uh, this is the main theory in our paper. 
Here, for simplicity, we assume h is 1 over 2 to the power n regular and 1 over 2 to the power n almost universe law, and also omit all the tens and small constant factors. And here, q is the number of mark queries, p is the number of ideal cyber queries, n is the length of block size, k is the length of keys. As can, can be seen in, in our theory, that this bound is beyond this bound with respect here to both Q and P. And moreover, uh, this bound is independent of the number of users, which can be as large as Q. Uh, if we compare our bound with the generated reduction, for a generated reduction, that is Q to the power 4 over the 2 to the power n. When Q reaches the birthday bound, that is 2 to the half n, you will become vanished. While for our bound, when Q equals the birthday bound that is 2 to the power half n, it is still reasonably small. Uh, more concretely, uh, for the uh, most uh, lightweight block size, for, the block size is uh, 64 bits, and the, the key length can be 128 bits. And the best bound become 2 to the power 32. Then the adversary need to query a 32 GB online data. And yet the tens relating the local computation of the adversary is captured by the number of ID of cyber, ID of cyber query become the PLO over 2 to the 160 plus Q. P over 1, 2 to the power 192 plus P square over 2 to the power 224, which is small. And we, our, this is the security model in our security gain in our proof. When we, we want to mention here that our proof is done in the ideal side for model. There are two main reasons why we choose this I, this model. The first one is that in, in the multi-user setting, we are particularly concerned how the local computation of the adversary will affect the security bound, which is captured by the number of ideal cipher query. And the standard model does not help here. The second one is that in the standard model, we usually model the block cipher as a PRP and which will incur uh, security loss, and this isolated security loss will be problematic in the multi-user setting. To go beyond the best bound, uh, it requires the key to be longer than n bit in the standard model, while in the ideal cipher, uh, using n bit keys is enough to go beyond the best bound for the DBHD marks. Uh, let, uh, let's give an overview of our proof. Our proof relies on the edge coefficient techniques. We define two class of bad events that is called uh, good events and bad events respectively. For bad events, the goal is to guarantee that for each user, uh, at least one of the hash key and block cipher key is fresh, and also to guarantee that for queries to the same user. And this one of the two inputs to the block cipher is fresh. And also guarantee that for queries to different users, if the block cipher key collab with other keys, then the input to this block cipher should be fresh. After that, uh, the analysis for the bad events is relatively easy. And uh, we refer the detailed proof to the to our paper. We show the usability of our of our frame, uh, proof framework to three key reduce value of DBH marks. Uh, as mentioned in, in previous slide, we only need to prove the hash path that is right to probability that's epsilon one regular and epsilon two almost universal. Uh, this is the figure of two case some SVC. You use the two independent keys for each hash part. And the hash function is the concatenation of two CBC marks. So we simply need to prove that CBC marks, yeah, the first part, uh, satisfied is on one regular and some two almost universal. 
and uh, also prove that second part similarly, we can also prove the second part also satisfy is from one regular and from two almost universal. After that, uh, we can apply our best theory to this construction and obtain the beyond best bound security of this construction in the multiverse setting. This is our result in the paper. Uh, for 2K Lightmap Plus, the hash function is uh, a bit a bit more complicated. Mm. Yeah, the, the hash function, the hash part is parallelizable, and uh, it also uses the field multiplication on the second part of the hash function. But again, we can prove that the first part of the hash function uh, satisfies its one regular and some two almost universal. And similarly, we can also prove the second part of the hash function satisfy is from one regular is from two or most universal. But at this stage we cannot directly apply our theory to this construction. The caveat here is that the first part of the second part uh, of the hash function is the same key that's L. Uh, but in in the theory it is assumed these two parts use two independent keys. So we need to additionally use the relationship uh, between these two parts and we'll incur uh, another term, but it is uh, it is still the beyond best bound. After that, we can apply our main theory uh, to, to this construction with the state multiplication and obtain the beyond best bound security in the multi-user setting. Uh, we also show the application to the 2K PMAP Plus. The hash function of 2K PMAP Plus is similar to the 2K Lesma Plus. It is parallelizable. And we also prove that the first part of the hash function satisfies the is one regular and so two almost universal. And similarly, we can prove that the second part has function satisfy if the one regular and if the two almost universal. Uh, and similarly, uh, the first part and the second part of hash function use the same key, so we also need to analyze the relationship between this part. And after that, we can apply our main theory to this construct construction with the style and multiplication. And to let this construction uh, is beyond best bound in the multi user setting. Uh, for the remaining one key reduced value of DBHD marks, we cannot prove its security. Uh, this construction is proved to achieve the beyond best bound security in a single user setting by data at all. But uh, we find that uh, a a simple attack that for any short mesh GM with with the with the length less than M bit, and we become a simple bro single block after painting. M and zero is always a is always a very forgery, and SARS invaded that the beyond best bound security resolved of previous paper. One can check it very quickly for a single block message. Uh, after the encryption of the first block cipher, uh, the input to the first input to the last block cipher and the second input to the last block cipher uh, are the same, so the corresponding output tag will be zero. So this uh, attack will, will success with probability one, and it only requires one query. Uh, we then try to fixed uh, the 2KF9. Our first attempt is to use a, a one-bit domain separation on the uh, last block cipher. Uh, this domain separation will fix the string, the most significant bit of string to be one, to be zero. And this will fix the most significant bit of string to be one. But we find this uh, domain separation does not work for the 2KF9. That for any two messages, M1 and M2. 
uh, M1 and M2 are both two block mesh, and if uh, the if this relation should exist, then the upper tuck will collide. And find such a pair of XY only requires the best bound complexity. So we can use this pair to, to construct a forgery. And if we use more complicated op operation, then it's multiplied by 2 before the 1 bit, uh, one bit uh, one bit domain f operation, we find a similar birthday bound attack still works. And we use the more complicated operation that is multiply a constant in, in each block, uh, just as in the case of 2k like lemma plus or 2k pima plus. We find a similar birthday bound attack still works. The reason behind this flaw is that uh, we can always, always find a relationship between the first input to the last block cipher and the second input to the last block cipher. That is, if the first input to the block cipher cried, then also the second input to the last block cipher. And find this collision requires a birthday bound complexity and will usually result in a forgery attack. And, but note that such relation does not exist in the 2K some SVC, 2K Lightma Plus, or 2K Pima Plus. The reason is that for 2K some ECBC, the two inputs of the last block cipher are produced by using two independent block cipher keys, so they being independent from each other. And for 2K Lightma Plus and 2K Pima Plus, we can prove that uh, prob probability that such relationship exists is very small. Here comes our conclusion. Uh, we propose a beyond belief bound secure multi user proof framework for DBHD marks and prove that 2K SUM ECBC, 2K SPMA plus, 2K LATMA plus still achieve the beyond best bound security in the multi user framework, in the multi user setting. And uh, for uh, the last one, they took F9, we, we find a critical flaw in it and show, and sh also show a busted bound attack on several variants of 2K F9. There are some interesting future work. Uh, the first one is that uh, can we fix 2K F9 to go beyond the busted bound? This question seems non-trivial because, as shown in our paper, by using a simple trick cannot help to get F9 to go beyond a burst bound. The second one is that whether can can we improve the security, the current security sec user security of DBH mark? Uh, not that in a single user, the DBH mark can achieve the three n over four bit security, but currently our proof can only achieve the 2n over 3b security. So whether can we improve the security bound of DBHM in the multi-user setting is an interesting question. Okay, that's all. And thanks for your attention. If you, you have any question, you can just send an email to me. Thank you.